What's romantic to you, by the way? Uh, I'm not a big romance person. What is? Uh, so you're not like, so to you romantic is like objective analysis of the interactions between humans? <laughs> a little bit. Like I do find kind of the survey process that I did to be romantic. Mm -hmm. uh, when I, the guy that I asked out who I'm still dating, I was like, hey, you scored really high on my survey. You want to like go eat food or something? And his response was like, you want to try doing three days in an Airbnb as our first date? And I was like, yeah. And that was romantic. Like the bold leap into oh, leap into a really intense date. I, I think you mentioned. <laughs> I think you mentioned something also. Um, must have been a tweet or something like that, where if you, um, if people want you to show up to a thing, give like the time, the location, the dress code, and, and not no pressure for you to be there, but like show up if you want. Mm. That was your specification. It's a great memory, yeah. And then I think you said that you did that for like some castle in south south of France. I did, yeah. That was in my early twenties. People, my friends at home were taking prediction markets on whether or not I was going to get abducted and killed. Yeah, what was that like? I mean, what what um, you've traveled quite a bit. Like, do you take these giant risks? What's what's with that? I think I used to more when I was younger with the traveling. I think I'm like a little traveled out now. Like my first, when I moved out of Idaho for the first time, I moved to Australia. I just kind of yeeted myself across the globe. But Sorry, which verb did you just use? Yeah, yeet. It's like yeet to yote, yatted, yeet. So people, do people, is this like slang? Is this like urban dictionary? Or is this actual, or is Yeah, this you have to like feel into the word. Like if you take a thing and you just like curl it really hard, ah. it does not feel like a yeet motion. Okay, so you yeeted. So it was aggressive. So across the globe, with a, you didn't even stop mm -mm. in. I don't Just know, hurled myself, yeah. Italy along the way. I just kept yeeting myself in various places, yeah. And so at one point, I was on OkCupid, okay and somebody sent me a long message being like, you should come to, I don't know, I'm hosting a castle. It's some people that I met. I'm like, I have no idea who you are, but I just bought a plane ticket. I just went. And it was life changing. I ended up dating that guy for years and. He he changed my life quite a bit because he he like was very agenty in the world and before that I wasn't agenty. Agenty like uh, can we like uh, so expressing agency? It sounds like you were, and don't you have to express agency when you're yeeting yourself across the world? Yeah, but only you, a little bit. Like in the same way you express agency when you eat LSD. Like the only thing you actually do in eating LSD is like put the tab in your mouth and then you just kind of scream the whole way after that. Yeah. But I, I, there are a lot of other things. Like I didn't feel powerful to, enough to like go make events happen or anything. Ah. And it was this guy, uh, he had a lot of agency in the sense that he would just sort of create realities through the people around him. Mm -hmm. Be like, okay, we're going to do this startup or we're going to throw this incredible event. Like, let's just do it. And it would somehow happen. And it was really cool to see that. And so that one thing led to another. And I mean, it was one of the biggest impacts on my life, I think. Yeah, that's pretty bold. That's, I would say it's pretty romantic. South of France. Yeah, yeah, it was in a little castle. It was in the winter, so we were all cozied up by the fire. Um, I'm jumping around here. Twitter poll. Have you ever hitchhiked? You posted this Twitter poll. Out of all, that was a big list of Twitter polls. Why did you pick the hitchhiking one? I don't know, because it's relevant to, to, oh, I to, see. to traveling. And I like that one. That's romantic too, right? I'm actually terrified of hitchhiking, but I have done it a little bit. Oh, so it's terrifying. It's not romantic to you. So well, you're terrified yeah. of what? Oh, so you you, you are terrified well, of- interacting with strangers. That's terrifying. Yeah. So you go to south of France. That, yeah. <laughs> okay. But that was like a cohesive thing. I don't know. Like mm. there's- It made sense. There's somehow. like times where you're allowed to be weird and times where you're not. And like if you're- like interacting Who's allowing with, you? Uh, yeah, some vague egregore of society. I'm not sure. Okay. But if some people are like, hey, we think you're cool. Come to this party. You're like, all right, I'm allowed to come to this party and be really weird. But if you're p being picked up by a hitchhiker, they're going to want to make small talk and you can't be weird or they're going to kick you out. I kind of think, because Valentine's Day is coming up, I'm kind of thinking it's doing something crazy. I'm not sure. South of France sounds nice. You got to like, you got to go on like a crazy romantic date with a woman you don't know at all. Yeah. I think I'm going to like tweet something and just like, how do I select randomly basically? How do you select totally randomly, like not not people from your audience? No, you want no, no, for, for, no, 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 from the audience, but in an interesting way, random, sufficient. Mm. So random amongst good choices. Couldn't you have people just like submit a form with 
and then you just randomize it and then select sure. one. Again, and then you just, yeah. if it's terrible, you just go randomize it again. <laughs> like the first not terrible option. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Somebody's like drown yourself. But I feel like I, you, then it's no longer random. You kind of want to do random. You just do it <laughs> and just do it. Fly across the world somewhere in some random place. Just for like a single event. For like a dinner. Yeah. Uh, you got some sort of itch in you. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. The, the itch to live. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Like sometimes it's nice to drop a little like chaos into a thing, yeah. right? What's your chaos survey, by the way? Like I, you mentioned that earlier, I kind of saw it. I don't. I oh yeah, that's one it. of like the sort of artistic attempts at a survey, because you know, like at least from what I understand, the big five and the way that they used to do IQ tests, I've heard, is that they do factor analysis. You know, where they ask a whole bunch of questions and then they run calculations on the data to like sort of group it by organic clusters. So like with the big five, it's like people who say, oh, I like to be at parties. They also tend to say yes to the questions. Like I like being the center of attention. And so you notice that like there's a cluster of ways that people are answering the question and then you can sort of pull out an organic spectrum. And so I was like, okay, we've done that a whole bunch with things like personality or uh, like romantic stuff. Like I did it with the rape spectrum survey. But like, what happens if you apply that method to a completely unselected group of questions? Yeah. Just like no random chaotic, no thing whatsoever. Like what happens is if you ask all possible questions, what natural things evolve out of that natural spectrums? So I had other people submit questions for a very large survey. And I took the first, I think 1100 and barely filtered them at all. And then I just had a whole bunch of people answer them. What? <laughs> Uh, can you give like a hint to what it looks like? Like what? Like how crazy did the question get? It's, I mean, a lot of them were standard, but somebody was like, "If Beelzebub like did something in fifteen twelve to like turn the world over, would you, would you like it?" I don't know. It's like it was really just insane questions. There's a couple of those. Uh, a lot of like, "Would you fuck Ayla?" ones, but. I don't know. It was all across a the spectrum. A lot of would you fuck aliens? Yeah, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a lot of the looking. same question. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Once. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, so it was, it was really all, it was like normal personal habits. It was, you know, romantic preferences or political preferences, personality stuff, like random opinions about media. Okay. That's interesting. I'd love to see those actual, uh, actual questions. But because you, your audience is probably really super interested.